like um been trying to get this Diego uh Sanchez guy to fight me and he just keeps running. And uh and uh but anyway, he um he's clearly like he's clearly has CTE. Like, like that that's not a joke. Like this guy's brain damage. That's um nice. which makes me kind of want to lay off um cuz it's like not as much fun if I don't have like a proper opponent to joust with as far as like shit talking goes. Mm-hmm. Like, like like if you were Chael Sonnen, like I feel like he'd be like a troll battle, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Let me get my trolling gloves on. Like, 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 like he would get it. But this guy is like, this guy literally said, like, like, like fa- our fans were going to him on on uh, Instagram. They, they were, they were like, Kyle says you're fucking bi- you got bitch in your blood, you pussy ass faggot. And he's like, ain't no bitch in my blood. You tell him to call me. Here's my phone number. And he just puts his. <laughs> oh my god! All right, we, 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 we gotta number. stop. We gotta he stop messing his with this cell guy. phone number right there in his Instagram because he thinks that like, why not? Like, like let's get this, <laughs> dude, this Russian wants to throw hands. Let's get him to call me up. See if he's so tough on so so tough on the phone. Well, you know what happened then. You know what happened then. Dude, like, 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 uh, your your fans were very respectful, and none of them <laughs> used his number in an abusive well, manner. I guarantee some of them called, did their best Russian accents, and had him going. <laughs> like, 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 who knows what happened? But, but this it is, wasn't. Lo- stop hiding from Kyle, punk. <laughs> Kyle would destroy you, Diego. Stop hiding. <laughs> the most popular comment. One guy got Instagram. real. It was like Diego. You put your phone number on Instagram. You already lost. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. So you guys. Yeah. Go, go, I I don't know. Like, like, like I don't. I, on one hand, it's really fun because like this guy is like mm-hmm. famous and like he's been in shit talking matches professionally before. Like maybe I shouldn't feel so bad because I don't feel like I'm crossing any like lines or anything. I'm not talking about his family or. Or anything like that, I wouldn't do that. But like, you know, it's general mm-hmm. shit talk. I don't know. I'll let I'll let the audience here who are always so even keeled decide <laughs> what we should do about this. On one hand, you could go to his Instagram and let him know that he's he's got bitch in his blood. And uh and, and I'm Oh just my gonna... god, this like we, we should let off off him if he's got these problems and everything, but there's a comment on here. It's a very sweet picture of like two guys holding a guy in between them, and the guy they're holding is like doesn't have legs, like he's being okay. held up. And like probably a war veteran or something like that. And someone said, "That's going to be you when Kyle's done with you. He is trained with monks, bro. You have no chance." <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do that shit. You ever see that Shaolin monk movie where, like, in the final like 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 fight at the end, he does this move where he like reaches and grabs like the top layer of skin off the guy's forehead and just pulls it off. <laughs> like, 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 I'm gonna do that move to Diego. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that ridiculous bullshit his boyfriend paints on his chest right off of him. <laughs> I'm just gonna tear that layer of skin off. You need to that make shallow. a short video of you doing it to like an orange or something, like to prove I, you got the move. But but, I, but I've really taken a scalpel and like very oh, carefully. Sure. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, just, like, I'm just like I'm just like peeling fruit like that. <laughs> They're just badly edited. Do it to a banana, then an orange, then somehow what if, an apple. What if, what, if, what if I'm in my backyard, like like doing kata, and I've got like watermelons up, and like. I would trust my dad to be part of this, and I get yes. my dad to be, like have a suppressed gun off in the background. And when I make contact with the with the watermelon, it explodes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm just, I'm just I'm just like walking through a, a field of watermelons, <laughs> and, like, and they're just like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Not even suppressed. They should sound like. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I just turn around. Pulp dripping from my face. <laughs> and I'm just like, next it's you, Diego. Next it's you. I'm coming for you. <laughs> totally I'm wonderful. your nightmare. <laughs> like, like, just, it, yeah, he's got no chance. You're too tough. And he doesn't not, get it. Yeah. He doesn't get it. He's never been to prison. No. He's never been. He's never so. been. To, that's true. That's a legit like shit talk thing you could bring up be like you've never been to prison man you don't know you've only heard what i've chose to share on my podcast I, all the real stuff no no you don't even know what i've done you think man, i was there for weed moron man I, <laughs> if, 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 if i actually had a fighting background and it wasn't bare knuckle i would have be having so much fun with this i would like i would get someone who looks like what i've described i can't hang out with snow because the fellow but i'd like get i'd get like a snow stand in to like be training me with like a cholo accent like, 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 I could make so much content out of this. Like, like, just funny, silly. It sounds, it video. sounds good. I kind of want to start talking shit to Diego so I can inherit this beef. <laughs> dude, get on there. Yeah. The beef. Like, like, like dude, tell him you want to like roll with him. Like, 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 dude. You know the funny thing is, I know I used to know Diego a little bit. I used to roll with him, so I've got Diego stories. He's a pretty fascinating. What? What, Kyle? 
Why didn't you start with that? <laughs> I didn't want you were going. I didn't want to break you're, up you're the like, watermelon story. It, well, I mean, after watermelon, <laughs> watermelon explosion, story. After, what, after my watermelon bit, it's all downhill. That's when you jump and you're like, you know, I actually know this guy. And, and, and he does have bitch in his blood. So <laughs> now, Danny, you're a top level purple. Is am I on target with that? Or maybe you peaked at a yeah. top level purple? Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm a pretty good purple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, and I used a, to how did he's you do black. him? And where were you when you rolled with him? Okay, so the first time I rolled with Diego was down at Solo Ribeiro's gym in San Diego. Because the thing about Diego Sanchez is he is the picture perfect cult member. Every three years or so, he finds a new sensei. It was Greg Jackson in New Mexico. And then for uh, three years, it was Salo and Shanji Hibera, which is where I was training jujitsu. Now, it's I think it's the boyfriend you were referring to, Kyle, like some fucking ridiculous they movement cut. coach. So what's interesting, uh, not to just to interject, they cut ties professionally, publicly. Yeah. However, whenever he talks shit to me, he mentions that, that I am a sensei of Joshua Fabia. How dare you besmirch, besmirch his name? Yeah. And, like, like, and, he, and I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? Yeah. <laughs> like, 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 so, so I, I, I was talking about like how I trained with Shaolin monks, which is true, obviously. And, and he saw that and he was like, oh, awesome. This is going to be a great fight. He, he goes, this guy trained with Shaolin monks. <laughs> that was his reaction to seeing me in a very, being very clear about how that I trained with Shaolin monks and he'd uh -huh. be like, oh, so he, he trained with Shaolin monks uh -huh. when, when that's not maybe the reaction that you would expect. Yeah. So Diego said, oh, like Diego started taking you seriously. He is taking me seriously right now. Yeah, OK, <laughs> See, that's another thing with Diego is, yeah, Diego, when he was at Solo and Shanji school, was only training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which most would argue is, is not the correct formula for MMA. So in his mind, like a Shaolin monks is probably he's like, oh, I, I fucking Kyle guy's got the right idea. I need to get over to India. <laughs> Like he so, probably thinks that's a kick-ass martial art that he needs to check out. Was he just head and shoulders better than everyone around? He was. I rolled with him when I was a blue and he was a brown belt, and he was definitely better than me. But he liked rolling with me because I would quote unquote bring it. And the last time I rolled with him, actually, I had a fat ringworm on my hand, and he hmm. called it out. And he was like, "You got a ringworm on your hand, homie." And then I uh, wasn't took its power out. <laughs> <laughs> and I wasn't allowed to train for like three months after that. It was a really bad it, ringworm. Three months. But, uh, uh, so did you ever get any gay vibes out of him? Because like, I think that's the deal. He, he had a Dolce and Gabbana gear bag. No, it wasn't a gear bag. It was like a little backpack. It was like a little backpack that a 14 year old Mexican girl would wear. And it was Dolce and Gabbana. And he had, he was really in to the mind over matter shit, which I kind of am into as well. He was like, Sensei Salo, he said that when he did his main run, when he won the world championships, like six times in a row, he got fucking drunk every night. It's whatever you believe, homie. If you smoke cigarettes and eat red meat every night and you think it's good for you, it'll be good for you. Those were the things he would say in the locker room, which I kind of like that stuff. I, I like that about him. But uh, I, I mean, the sad thing about Diego and his, his CTE is there. That's like the third guy in that first Ultimate Fighter season that's now coming out with gnarly CTE. Like Chris, well, the other two? Chris yeah. Lieben had it really bad. And there a clip okay. just surfaced this weekend of Stefan Bonner having a meltdown in a hospital, like a CTE induced meltdown because they cut him off from his painkillers. And then he starts getting it into it with the cops, too. And if you remember Stefan Bonner, I mean, Stefan Bonner looked like an accountant and spoke like one as well. So for him to be world star hip hopping it, it's definitely brain damage. It's pretty scary that this high percentage of guys are getting it. So four days ago, um, Stefan Bonner released a video that's described here as highly disturbing. 